Hey guys, it's Lisa. So I'm at Disneyland today and it's a beautiful, beautiful day, except it is kind of warm for me in December and all, but uh, that's fine. Anyway, we are gonna do a DCA day and I'm thinking it's gonna be a DCA food day because there's so much food that I wanna get at DCA before I'm blocked out. <laughs> but anyway, come along with me, let's hang out and yeah, let's go inside of California Adventure. that I always get a tiny peak of anxiety right after they scan my barcode to get in and I'm like, wait a minute, do I have a reservation? And then a millisecond later it goes through. I've never actually had that happen to me where I don't have a reservation, but it's one of my fears. But anyway, okay, yes, I think the first stop is gonna be Cozy Cone, the Cozy Cone Motel, because they have a returning favorite that I want so badly. And it's kind of perfect because it is a, kind of like a hot weather treat. Today's kind of warm but that's not stopping me from wearing a sweatshirt. Actually, this is my Nightmare Before Christmas Jack Skellington and Sally sweatshirt, which is really cute. But anyway, okay, yeah, let's go to Cozy Cone and they have a few things I want actually, so let's do it. Wow, the sun is blazing. It's, uh, it's very warm today. I could just take off my sweatshirt, but I refuse. <laughs> I mean, I probably will have to very soon. Ooh, look at Carthay Circle. You know what, I'm so excited that we're gonna have a DCA day because I feel like I haven't spent a lot of time here, like for the holidays really at all. And I just love it. Ooh, maybe we should go for the tree lighting. I'll check the time on the app, what time they light the tree because the time does change as the time itself changes, as the time the sunset changes. But anyway, okay, to the cozy code, motel we go. <laughs> There's a love pop booth set up, by the way. Okay, the, the Spider-Man thing is going on. It's uh, very distracting to me. Anyway, okay, I just wanted to say, I love these cards. I think they are so much fun, but this one in particular caught my eye because I was like, wait a minute, look, Mickey, Minnie, and Pluto all look like they've eaten a lot of marshmallows. Like they may be eating too many marshmallows because they are very like Pillsbury Doughboy-like and I, I like that. Ooh, also this one. Mary Hoffmas. Okay, this one is really cool too. I love these. I feel like, wait, do you like my hand-eye coordination? I was like going like this. Listen, I can barely see anything because the sun is shining oh so very brightly. But anyway, very fun. I just thought I would, oh look, Winnie the Pooh. He also looks like he's eaten too many marshmallows, but then again, he's Winnie the Pooh. So uh, that's just the way he is. Wait, this one is so cool too. I love that it's a wreath and I love that it's Star Wars themed and that it's white. It looks really awesome and you can see all the details in the ornaments. Oh, I really like these. And then the little tree, but you can also get a big tree. I don't know. I think the artsy craftsy person in me, the paper craft kind of person in me is like so intrigued by all of these, but they're such a fun gift. And look, little marshmallow Mickey, we love him. Love Pop is a shop that's inside of downtown Disney. In case you're wondering where you can get those adorable little paper craft cards, little pop-up cards, when it's not the festival of holidays and they have a little pop-up booth. But anyway, okay, we have arrived to Cars Land and I am so excited. I can hear the music, I can hear the attractions and my hand just won't stop doing this. Anyway, okay, yes, let's go get food. And I actually don't think we're gonna start off at Cozy Code, right down there. We're gonna start off with Flo's because my friends are already there and they actually have returning favorites too and have had them before. Spoiler alert, they're really good. So over at Flo's V8, this is where they have two seasonal specialties, but I was only able to get one because they had an ice cream machine problem, really similar to McDonald's. It was a gingerbread shake, so sadly I cannot show you that but I did get it last year, I feel like. It comes with like a mini butt cake and everything. Also, by the way, this is all copywritten music. So like, if I talk really loud or something, or if I have to edit this in a funny way in post, then that's why. Anyway, okay. This is the spicy guacamole bacon cheeseburger. This is a third pound Angus beef patty, spicy guacamole, crispy bacon, cheddar, chipotle mayo, and lettuce. And it's served with either cuties, mandarin oranges, or fries. And I got fries. Look at how, <laughs> that was not a very attractive look. Here, let me grab another. Ooh, this one has a guacamole. Very nice. But anyway, I have gotten this in the past, this burger, and it was pretty good, if I remember. And it did have a little bit of spice, so let's see. Let me try to stack it a little bit better. It's pretty messy. 
This is really, really good, and it's really saucy. It's the mixture of the guacamole, which is spicy, by the way. So if you don't like spice, I think you will think this is too spicy. And then I really like the chipotle mayo. You can see it kind of like oozing out of the bottom. It's really, really good. And then I just love a good old cheeseburger, you know what I mean? Especially a bacon cheeseburger, so good. The bacon is really nice, pretty salty. And yes, I would totally get this again. It's just, it's really nice. It's a little bit, it's, a, it's just, it's very messy, like I said. But anyway, I recommend you totally get it. It's so good. I am such a simple girl. Like, give me a bacon cheeseburger and I am pleased, very pleased, especially french fries. Do you see how that I just, I finished the french fries first. Always. I'm a french fry person. But mm, yeah, I, to my heart, I am a french fry person, like just made out of french fries, which is kind of sad to admit, but it's true. Anyway, I would recommend this. And then also look, I'm sitting outside, which I very rarely do, but I just think this is the coolest backdrop. And look, you can see the little Flo's V8 sign kind of right over there by the gas pump. And then, hmm... You can kind of see it over there, but it's not the best view, but it is a beautiful day today. Like, wow, it is so pretty. Our next stop is right across the street, which is what I originally said I wanted to do, right? Which was to go to the Cozy Code Motel. And they do have a few seasonal specialties here. One that I've had before and it is so good. And then the others I have not had. One of them looks weird. Should I get it? I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna get it or not because it just looks like it doesn't taste good. But anyway, yes, Cozy Code looks so good. I'll actually, I take it back. I don't love the decorations here. I feel like it looks like dirty grass. It's fine, dead grass, kind of, mm, yeah. Anyway, we'll, maybe we'll come back later tonight when it's like all neon glowy. It looks better that way. I guess I shouldn't hate on the decorations, right? I mean, they are festive, they feel appropriate. Look how cool that aged lobby sign is. And then, I don't know, there's something very calming. Right now they don't have one of the cars character meet and greet, so this is an open area, let's run around in it while we still can. But yes, look, this very calming water feature. Everybody loves a good water feature. But anyway, okay, we came here for food, so let's get some food. Okay, we're gonna start off weird. I did, I committed to it. So this is over at the churro cone, and this is the cranberry yogurt churro. It's cinnamon sugar churro, cranberry yogurt sauce, crushed pretzels, and sprinkles. And usually I'm a huge fan of sprinkles, but I don't know. I don't know, I'm not sold on this one. It's not very appealing, but you know what? I have a feeling this is gonna be a one bite and done kind of churro. So let me find a piece that has a lot of the sauce because that's what we're here for. Actually, I think I'm gonna have to, I'll split it in half. Look at that, it's an action shot. Ugh. Okay, it, mm, I don't know, why, why are the pretzels here? Okay, it might all make sense in just a moment. Let's try it. So that's weird. That's a weird one. I was giving it the benefit of the doubt though because I even bought it, you know what I mean? Like, it's, mm, I don't know. Okay, first off, what does cranberry yogurt pretzel have to do with the holidays? See, cranberry, I understand. The colorful holiday sprinkles, makes sense. But then yogurt and pretzel? I don't know. Everything all together was kind of just not bad, but just not great and uh, odd. I mean, I'll try my best to explain it. The cranberry flavor, not overwhelming. The yogurt flavor, not overwhelming. Everything, not overwhelming. <laughs> Actually, okay, the cranberry, even the sauce itself, if I didn't know it was cranberry yogurt, I wouldn't have known that it was that I would have just been like, oh, it's lightly fruity. It's a lightly fruity sauce. And then the pretzel was salty and the churro tasted like a churro. So anyway, would I recommend that? No, but look at this. We have something new. Let's distract. We have something different to look at. <laughs> so this is the Nog Chata and it has rum chata and it's topped with whipped cream and sprinkles. And oh, oh no, it kind of, okay. I added my very own little thing. It's the glow cube. Oh, I'm gonna have to clean that. I'll put it on the plate with the churro. Hmm, that looks really unappealing. I won't show that to you though. Anyway, I'm excited about this. Rum chata, eggnog, I love eggnog. I love it, but I also try not to have like dairy at home. So most vegan eggnog is not that great. But anyway, let's taste this. Oh, 
Oh, it's nice. Mm. It's a little bit icy. It's not as creamy as I want. Maybe if I... Mm. No, I think you might be able to see it's like a little bit chunky, a little bit crystally, like ice crystally. But the flavor is good, really cinnamony. Mmm. I would totally get this. And it doesn't taste very strong. So I know most people don't want, you know, too strong. Uh, no, there's different camps. A lot of people don't want it like a super strong drink. This one is kind of not strong at all and icy, but still very good. Ooh, I'm going to mix all the whipped cream into it. Mmm. Okay, that might make it even creamier. Yay. So we are moving on to the next food item and conveniently this is over at the Cozy Cone Motel too. I was not expecting this. I was kind of poking around the mobile order menu and I was like, wait a minute, this is amazing. So this is over at the cone that sells popcorn and this is the loaded fried tamale and it's queso con rajas tamale rolled in chicharron dust with salsa verde topped with spicy crema, shredded lettuce, cotija and corn relish, and a blistered jalapeno. I kind of wish that it was a blistered shishito pepper though. I love shishito peppers, but anyway, okay. I kind of dug towards the middle because I wanted a part that had cheese in the middle because the rest of it looks, it looks very masa heavy. So anyway, let's try it. Oh, and I got some of the jalapeno on it too. Ooh, okay, I am definitely getting heat from that blistered jalapeno. That is really tasty. And the salsa is very cold and it's on top of this very warm tamale, which isn't bad, but I wish it was kind of, no, that wouldn't make sense actually. What am I talking about? I want warm salsa on top of a warm tamale? No, but anyway, the green salsa has a lot of flavor. It does have a little bit of spice and it's a little bit tangy, like a little bit sour. And then the masa is really nice. I just love that it is fried. And then of course, all of the things on top. I mean, everything that makes it loaded. So the corn and everything else, I'm like looking at it right now and I'm like, what else was on it? Ooh, the mayo, the chipotle, the crema was really, really good. But yes, the fried nature of this is kind of what makes it really good. So I would recommend it. And uh, yeah, it's really intense. Also be careful when you're carrying it around because mine was like slipping and sliding and I almost dropped it. But that happens a lot to me anyway, so, you know. Anyway, okay, let's go find more food. Actually, oh God, I'm kind of full. <laughs> um, maybe we'll wait a little bit and then we'll go get food. We're gonna have to come back to Cozy Cone because one of my favorite things for the holidays has returned, but I just can't eat anymore right now, you know? It's, I gotta, I gotta walk it off. But anyway, okay, look. The sky is just really, really beautiful. And typically, this is the time of day when I think uh, it's like the ugliest light. Well, that's not true. Like, look up there. That's beautiful. But I just think this is so picturesque. It's so gorgeous. The wispy clouds, the beautiful creamy sunlight still remaining on this cone, and the orange and blue, the complementary colors, look really, really nice. It's just one lone car stuck on the track. Do you think that the cars and the ride have names? Like, what would we name this guy? Maybe Billy. I don't, I, baby Billy? Uh, okay, if you get the reference, then you get it. But anyway, yes, maybe his name is Billy because he's blue and we like alliteration? holiday cavalcade and I as I heard the song I was like oh my god we're here at the right time and I got really excited my friend was like are you okay <laughs> but yes I realized as I was recording that I think one of the reasons why I love it so much is because it is lightning fast it is like 30 seconds it comes it goes it's gone before you know it really but I just love that it is 
you can still hear the music. It is full of joy, you know what I mean? And Mickey and Minnie looks so cute. I think the costumes are also really, really cute. But anyway, yay, 30 seconds of joy. Okay, first off, yes, I have been in this exact location for since the last time I talked to you. And no, I haven't gotten hungry yet. So actually, no, that's not true. I can eat something. Maybe I'll go get something to eat. But okay, I just really quickly wanted to say I have been trying to get pictures of the moon because it looks spectacular. And right now the moon is kind of like behind the Mickey Fun Wheel. We can't really see it that well right now. But earlier today, it looked phenomenal. It was amazing. The moon, we love the moon. <laughs> Or I should say that I love the moon in particular, like I just always have to point it out. But yeah, it's right there. It looks beautiful. Good job, moon. Hello. It's been a while since the last time I saw you. It's been hours, actually. And um, it's like the end of the night. And I did a lot of other things, but not necessarily eat food. Actually, no, I take it. Oh, okay, two things. First of all, yes, I did get food from Cocina Cucamonga, and I got two kinds of tacos. So they usually come in an order of two. So I got four tacos total. I got the vegan ones, and I got the Quesa Birria tacos that everybody knows and loves. But I always get the vegan ones, but this time around I was crazy. And I got both, but I didn't even film that. Well, I did film the stuff so at least I can show you that and talk to you about it right now. And then the second thing I was going to say is that I am so sad because I did not even get the ice cream cone. I feel like I mentioned it at least a few times that Cozy Cone brought back something that I have been just loving year after year and it's a little peppermint ice cream cone and I was there and I did not get it but my friend got it and I did get footage of that but I had all intentions of coming back to the cozy cone and getting it oh I can hear the monorail but I don't think we're in a place where we can really see it oh maybe somewhere oh, it's already it's gone anyway okay I'm failing at everything today because yeah, I didn't get anything else from Cozy Cone and that just makes me sad. That peppermint ice cream cone, I haven't gotten it this year, but it's incredible. And maybe I'll get it another time, I don't know. I don't have that much time before I'm blocked out. But yes, anyway, it's the end of the day. So was today a fun day? Yes, but was it kind of a short day? Did I intend to do a lot more than I actually did? Yes which is totally fine. But anyway, I hope you guys had fun coming along with me. I really enjoyed everything. Today was kind of just like a Cars Land food video, wasn't it? That's totally fine. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Ooh, and happy holidays. Okay, well, I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs>